Morning team, what I want to do today is just walk through the setup of the Play Impossible Game Ball and the Excel Hacking STEM uh, worksheet uh, that goes with it. So if we uh, launch the Play Impossible application for Windows 10 uh, from the Microsoft Store, you'll see that it launches up here uh, and we have to first connect the Game Ball uh, to the app itself. It was a pretty straightforward process just by connecting the uh, charger to the device, uh, which I have in my hands at the moment. There we go. So connecting Sam to the device. And now we're good to go. Uh, to get the full value out of this, we can go to the uh, sports labs, which will show us the various dynamics of the game. So here, if I just throw the ball up in the room I'm in, we see I threw it 1.16 meters and the app is reading back to me. We can change the, um, the measurement that gets read out loud to us uh, by clicking on a particular one. So here's the catch force. If I really try to put a lot of spin on it now, let's have a look. Cool, so the play ball has uh, Sorry, the Play Impossible Game Ball app has a huge amount of uh, features in it. So now that I have the uh, Play Impossible app running, I need to launch Excel to launch my Hacking STEM data stream of ball catch uh, worksheet, which will allow me to connect the Play Impossible Game Ball into uh, Excel for that live data stream. So we have that running here and uh, just zoom out a little bit so you can see. The first thing we need to do is go to data streamer in the tab which I have turned on earlier uh, and connect a device. So by clicking connect a device, I can see play impossible uh, running them. So that will pop up and say the ball is now connected to the worksheet through data streamer, which is excellent. Uh, to start the data flow, I click start data and we're good to go. So I do my first ball toss and catch it. And we see it measured in at 1.2 meters in height and it had uh, 288 uh, revolutions per minute. If I click that again, uh, do another throw, you can see these throws being calculated here. And the catch force is also being calculated on the right there, 18.8 newtons of force. So a lot of application here that uh, students can start to do through this data collection. Uh, we have another sheet down the bottom called Game Dashboard, which is a fun one because it's a digital egg toss. This allows you to do three different throws and try to see if you can stay under the necessary uh, catch. So if I click save catch, you notice the first one is shown on the right hand side is the purple uh, bar and the graph and the data associated with it. If I throw it again, try and be a bit more gentle with this catch and I save my catch data again. And save catch. You'll notice that it's now marked in blue and it goes over here. I've actually exceeded the total catch uh, force of 50 newtons that I was trying to do. I could do one more catch if I wanted to uh, and save that catch as well, which is the red indicator. And these are all graphed on the right hand side. And you can clear that data and kind of repeat the process here. So a really useful sort of worksheet uh, from the Hacking STEM team here. The third one to show is just the data in uh, field here. And this is all of the data being generated from the data stream. Uh, coming in here. So if we uh, clear our catch data, throw up, uh, save the catch, this is the sort of data which we can collect in uh, using the Hacking STEM worksheet and uh, output to, you know, statistics could use this, the physics team could use this, uh, and students have a great opportunity to just think up different scenarios where they can use um, the data coming out of the Play Impossible ball. So hopefully that gives you some ideas around how you can use the hacking STEM and data streamer features of Excel and Office 365 with the Play Impossible ball. Get stuck into it guys, it's great fun.